Hey there, I'm Professor McBride, labor nurse, OB instructor, and your guide to everything OB. Let's get to it. The vaginal discharge that happens after a baby is born is referred to as lochia. Lochia is broken down into three stages. The first stage is lochia rubra, and rubra is the Latin word for red. The second stage is lochia serosa, so this is a serous type drainage. And then the third stage is lochia alba, and alba is the Latin word for white. So when you put it together, it looks kind of like this, but we are going to look at these each individually. Lochia rubra is the lochia that happens first, and this is going to happen in the first few days after the baby's born. During this time, the drainage is going to look like bloody. It's going to be darker, bright red in color. It might have some small clots. She might notice that it's heavier when she stands up, especially if she's been sitting or laying down for a long period of time and it's been pooling inside. Or she might also notice that she feels like it's heavier or she has small gushes when she's breastfeeding. Because during that time, her body is releasing oxytocin to help the milk let down and it causes the uterus to contract. So it's going to look like red blood on the pad. We also look at lochia rubra based on volume. And so when we are looking at volume, we might call it scant if we have less than an inch or 2.5 centimeters on the pad. And this is about five to 10 milliliters of discharge. Light will be if we have less than four inches or 10 centimeters on the pad. And this is about 10 to 25 milliliters of discharge. Moderate will be less than six inches or 15 centimeters on the pad, and this is typically about 25 to 50 milliliters of discharge. And during the first couple hours after the baby's born, it's not uncommon to see moderate lochia, then it will taper down. Heavy though is gonna be if we're saturating a pad within one to two hours, and this is going to be concerning. This is going to be a thought that this isn't just normal lochia, that maybe we're having too much bleeding. And if we have excessive, excessive will be saturating a pad within like 15 minutes. So both heavy and excessive volumes need additional assessment and possible intervention. Lochia serosa is the second stage. And during this time, we're looking at days four to 10 after delivery. And we're now seeing that this is transitioning to more of a pinkish or brownish looking discharge that has some blood tinge, it's serous drainage, and maybe some mucus involved. And this is going to have a lighter flow. So it's gonna look more like pink on her pad like this. Lochia alba is going to be the third stage, and this starts around day 10, and it's going to continue for several weeks after. During this time, there's very little, if any, blood involved, so the drainage is going to be white or yellowish. And there's going to be a very light flow, okay? So during this time, she might just need to wear a panty liner. So when we look at this again all together, it's important to note that the progression of lochia should always move forward. It shouldn't move back. So if you have lochia rubra that has transitioned to serosa, it should then transition to alba. If you have serosa that goes back to rubra, that's a concerning finding. That's not something that's normal and that needs evaluation. So lochia rubra happens from days one through three. This is going to be red bloody discharge, and we look at scant, light, moderate, and heavy volumes on the pad. Lochia serosa happens next, days 4 through 10. This is pink or brown, serous, and mucousy. And then Lochia alba is days 10 through 4 to 6 weeks after, and this is white or yellow type discharge. If we look at it all together, here's the way our progression looks. And here are the different volumes for postpartum bleeding, scant, light, moderate, heavy, and excessive. Heavy or excessive require additional evaluation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share for new videos every week about everything OB. See you soon.